The beautiful country of Sweden is home to many incredible places and amazing people. Many important and world changing inventions have also come from Sweden and from people of Swedish descent. So in this episode I'm exploring 10 amazing inventions and discoveries that you probably didn't know came out of Sweden. Hey everyone my name is Leroy Kenton and thanks for joining me here on another episode of FTD Facts. This is a channel where we love to explore the different people, countries and cultures from all around the world and yeah we're we're jumping into Sweden again. So first off, if you love Sweden, give this video a thumbs up, as well as if this is your first time here to FTD Facts, you know, press that subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you'll be notified of future videos like this. Okay, so let's start off with the first invention. In the year 1958, Rooney Elquist developed a battery run artificial pacemaker. Now this was used for the very first pacemaker operation done by the surgeon named Aki Senning and the operation was done at the Karolinska University Hospital in Stockholm, Sweden. So yeah, pacemakers I had no idea were invented by Swedes. So if you're not familiar how pacemakers work, they go under the heart of the person that you operated on and it sends electric pulses to the heart so the muscles can expand and contract so it can regulate your heartbeat. When the sinoatrial node fails to function correctly, an artificial pacemaker can be fitted to help regulate the heartbeat with small, evenly timed electric shocks. This involves implanting electrodes into one or more of the heart's chambers and implanting a device called the generator just under the skin. For more severe heart conditions, an implantable defibrillator, or ICD, can be used, which is also capable of sensing a stopped heart and delivering an electric shock powerful enough to restart it. Also, this thing, the Celsius thermometer, came out of Sweden. It was developed by the Swedish mathematician and astronomer by the name of Anders Celsius. Clearly, you see where the name came from. Anders Celsius made massive contributions in the field of astronomy. And this new thermometer that he invented that measured 100 degrees between freezing and boiling, this was really his claim to fame. And the majority of countries in the world use Celsius thermometers, so it's a very common measurement system now. Without that would probably be stuck with just trying to calculate temperature in Fahrenheit and I don't know like I'm not the greatest at math but just trying to figure out how to calculate in Fahrenheit like it hurts my brain so thank you brother Celsius. Next up we have the three-point seat belt. This seat belt formation is pretty much standard in all vehicles now and it was developed by Niels Bolin who is a Swedish inventor as well as a safety engineer and this is back in 1959 when he created this for the automobile company Volvo. And the reason why these seat belts are shaped like a Y is because if you get into an accident it really disperses the energy across your body so it's not just like <laughs> maybe get ripped in half or something, but this kind of really holds you in place so that you're not ripped in half when you crash. I know it's a pretty graphic example, but let's just say that these seat belts save a lot of lives. Statistically, one life every six minutes to be exact. If you look at a three-point safety belt 50 years ago compared to a three-point safety belt today, it's a huge difference. The basic principles are still there. You can put it on using one hand. It has a good geometry. It's holding the upper body, the lower body but whatever we will do, we'll still have those basic principles that were established by Nils Bolin. Over a hundred years ago, Coca-Cola introduced this unique bottle to the rest of the world. Now you show this soda bottle to somebody and right away they recognize, oh, that's the Coke bottle. But few people know that this design was created by the Swedish man by the name of Alexander Samuelson. He was told to create a bottle that people could recognize in the dark just by touching it, or if it was lying on the ground, broken or whatever, people could still recognize it. And Alexander Samuelson more than delivered on the this one. <laughs> You see, the country of Sweden has a lot of surprises, like even things surprising to the people that were born and raised there. And just so you know, if you do want to expand your knowledge about this amazing country, we do have a playlist about the videos that we've done about Sweden. We go into the culture, we go into the history, we talk about the military, etc, etc, etc. I'll link to it in the card section of this episode, as well as below in the video description. I'll also have it at the end screen of this video. And we recently did a video about the differences between Sweden 
Sweden and Norway. That's an interesting, fun one, and I highly recommend that one. I'll link to that as well. Now, the invention of the ultrasound also has its roots in Sweden. The Swedish doctor by the name of Igni Elder, he worked alongside the Austrian researcher Carl Helmuth Hertz, and they developed the first ultrasound. This became the primary non-invasive way to examine our hearts as well as our internal organs. And of course, when mothers wanted to determine whether or not they're pregnant or really just check the gender of their baby, they use ultrasound. So this is another invention that completely changed history. And like, what would we do without this next invention? Like, wearing pants just wouldn't be the same. The modern day zipper was created by a Swedish American inventor, Gideon Sundbach. He had improved upon an earlier, not so effective version that was created back in the year 1913. And this new version that he designed, he called it the separable fastener, and then he patented it in the year 1917. And now we use them when wearing pants or trousers if you're from the UK, as well as other backpacks and other kind of bags. Now for those of you who are watching this video on your computer, I can almost bet 100% of you are watching it on a flat screen monitor. Sven Torborn Lagerwald, he discovered the ferroelectric liquid crystals back in the year 1979. And this is a technology that led to the development of the flat screen monitors. And from that discovery, flat screen monitors went into mass production since the year 1994. That's the reason why I bought mine. This monitor has a 60 hertz refresh rate with a one millisecond greater grade response time. Also, many families and people out there would probably have gone bankrupt if it wasn't for the invention of Skype. Yeah, you get to save a lot of money on those long distance calls to your relatives overseas. Hey babe, hello? Can hey, you hear me? Hi. Yeah. Hey, how's your day? That was um, good. But what you didn't know is that this came out of the mind of a Swedish man. His name was Nicholas Zenstrom, and he co-developed Skype, and he worked with a team including a Danish inventor by the name of Janos Fries. Creating Skype, of course, capitalized on the use of internet technology, and in the year 2011, Microsoft bought it for 8.5 billion US dollars. And I always saw that Microsoft invented Skype. Nope. So again, we got to say thank you to the nation of Sweden for saving the rest of us a whole lot of money. Although many of us don't use old school telephones anymore, I thought it was pretty important to share this invention. The Swedish telecommunications company Ericsson was founded by Lars Magnus Ericsson in the year 1876. And the company's first ultra successful product was the telephone handset. It had the mic where you spoke in as well as the earpiece to listen to all in one. Before that, with telephones, you had to hold the microphone in one hand and hold the earpiece in the other hand. Pretty annoying, but this just put it all together in one and just made it so much easier. Every achievement has been further proof that the frontiers of progress have no limit. And finally, the last invention and discovery that I want to share that came out of Sweden was the safety matches. Matches, of course, have been around for a long time, right? But they were very dangerous, so you really had to know what you're doing or else you'd get burned and burn up everything and everyone else around you. However, thanks to Gustav Erk Potch, we don't have to worry so much about that anymore. He had decided to move the flammable phosphorus, which was embedded in the match head, to the side of the match box, as well as replace the poisonous yellow phosphorus with a red version of the phosphorus that was non-toxic. And because of this, matches became a lot safer. And this was huge for the Swedish economy because several times in history, 75% of all matches sold in the world were coming from Sweden. Okay, so those were 10 amazing discoveries and inventions that came out of the nation of Sweden. How many of these did you know had ties to Sweden? Like really, for me, this was completely surprising. I had known any of them. Let me know down in the comment section below. And this is nowhere close to the amount of amazing stuff that came out of Sweden. So if you want to see more videos like this, also leave that below in the comment section. Well, it's that time again now where I say goodbye, but it's not goodbye, it's see you later. I can't wait to share more interesting facts with you in another episode. My name is Leroy Kenton and I'll see you real soon.
Hey everyone, here are those videos about Sweden that I recommended earlier. We post videos all throughout the week here on FTD Facts, so check back each day for more educational content so you can learn more about our world together with us here at FTD Facts.